Hi everyone, I'm a clinical SaaS trainer at Orizol Solutions. I would like to tell you about the SaaS and how is it useful and what are the domains where SaaS is widely used in the current scenario. Before going into the introduction to SaaS, let me tell you from where this SaaS has come from and what is SaaS. SaaS is generally abbreviated as Statistical Analysis System or Software. In the early 1970s in the North Carolina State University, they have developed this software suite to analyze the agricultural research data. SAS is a software suite which is used to manage the data, visualize the data and analyze the data. Visualizing is in the form of tables, or listings and figures that can be generated easily by SAS. And analyzing is by using of some procedures in SAS, you can analyze your research data. And data management is where you can acquire the data from other databases into the SAS software. So SAS is capable of data management, data visualization and data analytics as well. So uh, nowadays in the current market, SAS has become a very powerful tool in the management, analysis and visualization of data. For this SAS software, there is an institute called a SAS Institute uh, in the North Carolina, USA. And the in CEO for that institute is James Goodnight. Coming to the job scope in the current market of SaaS. In the recent times, there are many other competitors for SaaS like R, Python, SQL, etc. But among all those, SaaS has around 36% of total job openings when compared to all other competitors like R, SQL, Economics as well. Before going into SaaS domain, SaaS is widely used in financial sector and clinical sector as well. Uh, there are many other competitors for SaaS in financial sector like uh, R, um, Python, etc. Whereas in the clinical sector, there is no other competitor for SaaS till date. So SaaS is most widely used software in analyzing the clinical trial data in the clinical sector. So before going to tell you what is meant by clinical trial, let me give a brief introduction about the drug development process. So for any of the drug to get into the market, it should pass through the experimental phases and then it should come to the market. So the, the data acquired from the experimental process is put into the SaaS software and is analyzed and this SaaS software is used to uh, convert our data into the standards that are required by the regulatory authorities like FDA. Coming to the drug development process, for any of the molecules, there are different phases in the drug development process. It starts with the experiments in the laboratory on the animals which are also called as preclinical studies or preclinical research once the drug molecule has passed through this preclinical research the pharmaceutical companies will file an IND application to the regulatory authorities like FDA. If that regulatory authority has approved the IND application of the pharmaceutical company, then the drug will be moved towards the clinical trials or the clinical research where the drug will be tested for its safety and effectiveness in human beings. Here there are different phases in the clinical research, phase 0, phase 1, phase 2, phase 3 and phase 4. Phase 0 is also called as microdosing studies which will be conducted to decide the dose. Phase 1 is conducted in a small group of healthy warranties to decide the safety of the drug and phase 2 is conducted in around 100 participants to decide the effectiveness of the drug and phase 3 of the clinical research is conducted in larger groups of population in order to compare the drug effectiveness with the drug which is already there in the market and once this phase 3 is completed the pharmaceutical company should file a new drug application or NDA application to the FDA if the FDA approves this NDA application then the drug can be released into the market and this phase is what is called as phase 4 how is SAS related to all this drug development process and where exactly is SAS useful in the drug development process? See, SAS is useful in the drug development process right from the stage of preclinical research towards the stage of uh, post-marketing surveillance that is the fo phase 4 of clinical research because SAS is used to uh, manage the data and it can analyze your experimental data and it can say you whether the drug is really effective or not. It is also useful uh, in uh, submitting your findings to the regulatory authorities like FDA. See everything we communicate with the SAS will be in the form of a SAS program. Any software program is a combination of steps. So many of the steps constitutes a SAS program and each of the step is constituted by a series of 
syntactic things called as statements basically there are two types of steps in a sas program one is called as a data step and the second one is called as a proc step this data step is what is used to create the data or create the research data or acquire the data from the other databases like oracle you can acquire data from any other databases into sas by using a step called as data step and the next step in a sas program is what is called as a proc step which is also called as procedure step this procedure step is generally used to generate some reports or figures like graphs etc which makes everyone's job easy to analyze or to decide whether the drug is effective or not how exactly is this clinical sas useful in a real time and what is the real time workflow in a pharmaceutical industry or in a crvo for the sas programmers or sas developers see you will be getting the clinical research data from the crvos in the form of a paper or electronic format called as crf that is called as case report form that data from the case report form is called as raw data this raw data will be sent to the pharmaceutical company where the sas programmer is working and this sas programmer's work is now to convert this raw data or the information from the crf that is the case report form into a standardized sdtm data set which is approved by fda the regulatory authority so fda authority has set some standard guidelines to analyze the clinical trial data so each and every of the sas programmer or the pharmaceutical industry around the globe should follow or should adapt to these guidelines and prepare their clinical trial data as per the sdtm and adam guidelines approved by fda and these guidelines were prepared by an organization called as cdesc is nothing but clinical data interchange standards consortium that means this organization is allowing us to change our clinical trial data into a standard format that can be easily readable by the regulatory authorities like FDA uh, the first work or the first step in a sas programmer's work is to convert the information in the raw crf that is the raw case report form into a standardized sdtm data set and this sdtm data set will be converted into an adam data set that is also called as analysis data model by using certain proc steps and these analysis data sets will be further utilized to generate reports called as tables listings and figures which should be together submitted to US FDA in order to get an approval for the drug you are working on from the regulatory bodies like FDA not only FDA there are many other regulatory authorities like EMA MHW EMA is for European Medicines Agency and MHL is for Japan all these are the regulatory authorities for different countries almost all all the regulatory authorities will have some standard formats like this and 80% of the global regulatory authorities are accepting cdisc sdtm adam standards for regulatory uh, clinical trial data submission the clinical trial data will be coming into the pharmaceutical or crvo industry in the form of raw data sets which will then be converted by a sas programmer into a standardized sdtm data sets these sdtm data sets will then be converted into adam data sets and the reports or data visualization will be done in the form of tables listings or figures which will then be submitted all together to the regulatory authorities like fda so this is all about the sas and how and where sas is exactly useful in clinical research side and what is the real time workflow of sas and how to write a sas program thank you